I've never seen this type of apartment ever. Half of it is up here and the other half, the bigger half, is completely underground. But you could probably put a pool on this turf area. <laughs> Welcome to Park Slope, South Slope. According to this deli, we're in Park Slope. And if you know anything about New York, it's that all the most important things, including life advice and directions, can be found in deli. This is the only train line, and it's the R. I have mixed feelings on the R. What sucks about it is it's local and it's slow, but it is reliable, so you'll get places eventually. This guy had an altercation with whoever was in that truck, and I guess he's called the police, and he doesn't want to go anywhere until the police show up. He's afraid that if he pulls his car out, all of the other cars are going to drive away, including the person who the altercation happened with. Great local Caribbean place, and this is Dwayne, the owner. What's the best thing on the menu? Best thing on the menu, coconut salmon. And what's your favorite thing on the menu? Coconut salmon. Ooh, <laughs> there you go. Stella's Caribbean. Taco Tuesday, chicken steak, chorizo, three bucks. Three times 20, $60 later, you won't need to eat for a week. If you want to learn the most popular way to defend yourself, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. This says it's a workout for your body and your brain. And the reason you're going to need that is because the only internet provider here is Spectrum. And their service is so terrible. When you call their customer service, you're going to need that brain workout to get yourself some kind of restitution. And on another note, why would I sign up for the mobile internet when the regular internet's not working? There's also a 7-Eleven. I guess they do energy drink delivery right now. Boy, if you don't have energy, this might be useful. And they have breakfast pizza. You know, they should think about adjusting that picture. I'm not interested. Oh, cool. This looks like a little discount store. You could save money on flowers and pool noodles and inflatable superheroes. There's no pool around here, though. One block north of where we just were. Look at how quiet things get over here. You got a little Greek restaurant, and then across the street, an Italian restaurant. And this is what most of the neighborhood is like. Quiet, peaceful, trees everywhere. This is why people want to live here. And check this out. Just around the corner, there's a little community garden. This is actually a pretty nice one. Look at all the tables and chairs. And this here be a willow tree. You don't see these in New York. Maybe if you move here, you can build a birdhouse and put it up in there. That's living right there. I hope they don't care if I put my bike here. 276 20th Street. It's brand new. I don't know if anyone lives here yet. Brand new building as you can see, but I've just been told that there's only two apartments left in here. People have moved in. And look at this, they're building a package room. So when someone steals your packages, the little camera they put in there, that'll catch them. Going up. Check out that view. You can see Lower Manhattan right there. And that's actually the water. So we're as far west as you can get in Brooklyn. And the landscaping up here is absolutely phenomenal. By landscaping, I guess I mean concrete, but it's really clean. Look at this, there's lots of tables. There's places where you can hang out. You can get some sun. And they didn't skimp on anything. Look, you got a couple of grills out here. Lots of counter space in this partial kitchen. Are these fridges? Um, I'm not sure, but look at this. Outlets for every table. This is great. Thank you. Ooh, it's nice. Weights, bouncy balls. 
I don't really know how to use these. But this, the foam roller, if you've got a bad back, oh my goodness, this right here, oh, this will change your life. You should buy one or you should just live here, they have them already. There's also a parking garage in the building, so gym, parking, roof deck. Oh, there's a storage unit. So if you're a hoarder and you overload your own place, you can get one of these. And then they got the cages. Let's see what people are storing up in here. Got some kids' bikes. These look bigger than the storage closet. Look at this one, this would definitely fit your mother-in-law. She could live down here, willingly. Cool view, but uh... I don't know what to call this. I guess it could be like a garden or something like that. Those are also our windows. Obviously there's the street. If you end up living here, you 100% have to do something cool with this. Maybe like a couple lawn chairs, a hammock, something nice. Now this townhouse, it's 5750, two beds, two baths. And I'd say it's about 50% finished. Nice full-size dishwasher, full-size stove, nice big microwave. Boy, you could reheat just about anything in here. Nice fridge, no complaints. I think they did a fantastic job with the kitchen. It's big, but it's not in the way. And since the living room is 21 feet by 13 feet, you've got a ton of space to work with. For example, kitchen table over here by your kitchen, and then over here by these big windows, you could have a couch on one side, entertainment center on the other. And these are win almost floor to ceiling windows. They do open so you can get a nice breeze if you want. And I think there might be more noise from construction inside the building than there is from the street. Really nice looking bathroom. I love the whole sink because it has some counter space around it. And then you got these really big storage cabinets. I don't know why this one didn't open. Maybe, whoa, whoa, what? I have to be doing something wrong. I don't want to pull too much or I might break it. On the second level is the other bathroom. And it's a good thing we saw the one upstairs first because this one, you can see that the finishes are similar, but I guess this wall is gonna have like electrical and stuff behind it. This could be dangerous. I'm surprised they let me in here. I see a drain down here though. I wonder if this is also gonna be the laundry closet. We're in one of the bedrooms now. This one is 10 by 10. It faces the little garden and it's gonna be really quiet sleeping down here because we're not able to hear any noise from the street because these massive windows, these are so thick and it's like up there. This larger bedroom, 15 feet by 10 feet. So 50% bigger. You could have like three king size beds in here. Okay, that's not gonna be the laundry closet because the laundry closet shares this closet with the water heater. It's good, it just, now I don't know what they're gonna do with that space. This is the uh, $10,000 three bedroom townhouse. So it's a little bit bigger. never seen this type of apartment ever. This and this lead into the unit itself. Out here, we've got like this entire patio. And then above this, there's an elevated area which is connected to that balcony and everything you see up here. This upstairs is interesting. You've got like an AstroTurf area. That looks like the perfect spot for a pool. This is just such an overwhelming feature. I don't really even know how to describe it. You could have had like three other apartments out here if the city would have allowed it. Common space here is really good. It's 17 by 12. That door is probably going somewhere. The kitchen's identical. But the one difference is that upstairs here, we have the first bedroom. The view here is looking out over the rest of the patio area. And look at all that storage space. That is glorious. Do these all have built-in dressers? Oh, that is so useful. Look at that. I love storage space. Okay, the downstairs here is really still a work in progress, but that's okay. 
Over here, we have the second bathroom. The first bathroom is upstairs. It looks like the other bathrooms we've seen. Here it is, no surprises. But check this out. Over here, we've got like a little laundry room. I see the sink, I see the laundry machine. And the bedrooms here look really good. They both have doors that you can slide open and get out onto the patio. If you want, man, those are heavy doors. This one's got great looking closet space as well. Now this room is 12 by 12. That's the same with the bedroom we saw first upstairs. How is the third room though? Here it is. You know what? Really sunny. Love the scenery out there. You can do something cool with that view. And what's great is this is basically a mirror image of what the other downstairs room is like. And what's really interesting is in relation to each other, both of these places are very well priced because this one has an extra bedroom and it has a much more exciting outdoor patio. But unfortunately, if you're me, you can't afford either of them. If you're not me and you wanna live here, check out the video description. I'll have all the agency's contact info. Pick another apartment, tour or video, whatever pops up, pick it. I will see you in the next one.